Okay, what's up guys? Now, this is my Overlord review. I am going to be talking about some things in the movie that stood out. So if you guys don't, uh, spoiler alert, pretty much. And uh, letting you, yeah, just, just fair warning. You know, I am going to be talking about some scenes in the movie. So I would recommend to go watch the movie first, then come back here. And then, yeah, then see what I had to say about the movie and things. Because I honestly think that Overlord, it, it is one of the best movies that come out this year. Like, there's a lot of good movies that came out this year. But I feel like that Overlord, it's definitely one of those good movies. And plus, like, J.J. Abrams, he, uh, like, him being behind the Star Wars movies, and then just him, like, kind of, like, stepping away from that and then doing this... Like, that's, that's definitely some, you can even turn that into a series and things. Like, you could turn, I, I, if it was a TV show, or uh, they turned it into, like, a trilogy, or making it into multiple films, or something like that, like, I'm down for that. Like, seriously, I will be right there in the theaters going to go see it, because I think that that movie, the, like, I feel like that that movie has potential to lead into something else. Because, honestly, how that movie ended, you could transform it into where, like, some people, they go, because, yeah, I mean, like, you know, everything overall did blow up at the end. But let's let's just say, let's just say, like, you know, s somebody was lucky enough to come across that chemical stuff that messed those guys up. Honestly, though, that chemical, people were saying, like, oh, this is like some, like, Nazi zombie movie. No, 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 it is not no Nazi zombie movie because when they showed that scene where the girl had shot the um the trans well mutated guy or chemical guy I don't even know what to really call them and things there probably is a name for them but when she shot the one dude at the end um like kind of towards the end and she shot him like three times in his head and he still got up and was chasing after her and things I was like all right so these guys aren't zombies you know you just <laughs> how do you take these guys out like that part it kind of left like fear for me for the girl like it let fear in me for that girl because i'm like all right well you shot him in the head like what what's what else what else is there to do and things like you just got to dismember the whole head because you well because i remember in earlier in that movie when the uh the one um soldier when he when they when the nazi dude shot him and then they um, injected the character boys when he injected him in that uh, girl's attic and then he got up and things like he had to smash his head in and stuff so I'm guessing that but then she did set dude on fire so it's good on her part that's that's some smart thinking on her me I just kept on running I most likely wouldn't have never seen them flamethrowers and just been still running <laughs> down in the woods and things because that yeah overall that whole movie was crazy that movie and then it seemed like that that stuff like healed you because it never really showed where they i like thinking about i don't remember i i didn't start seeing it until where the one nazi dude where his face was healing up because it was like you know you could kind of see like a clump just sitting there and things and so i'm like oh that stuff heals you but it's like it had them people acting crazy and so i just i overall thought like because that movie it leaves you wondering like okay what's gonna happen now what is this like what's gonna happen and then when the uh like the head leader of that whole like the um the american soldiers like when he injected himself down it's just like oh, okay so he's cool like they don't turn crazy i guess when they die and then you know come back then that's i feel like when they die then that's when they become crazy but when they're alive then that's when they're kind of like in their right mind and things so it's uh, it, it kind of like it i don't know i wouldn't really say it's a zombie movie and things but um it's it's i feel like it's some like far more advanced than a zombie movie like if this that i feel like that yeah it's this is i feel like it's a step up from zombie movies because this definitely if this was like i said if it was a tv series or if they turned it into multiple films i will go see it f to see what's going to happen in the next one i honestly think that they can do that like have it where it's uh it's you know like a modern day uh overlord and it's like let's say it's in this time like in this day and age and things with all this new technology i don't know i don't know they have just just something you know some guys they go in them caves and they explore they come across some of that chemical stuff see what it is somebody's dumb enough to inject themselves with it and then they just they just you know it's it goes it goes just insane and things and so they it would have been crazy to see like an all-out war like how would how would um america would have defeated the nazis if that plan would have went through like that was good on their part for you know because yeah the plan was to just take out that tower but 
Yeah, they, they then when the girl when she had you no know, body and it was just her spine and her head and she was talking, I was like, okay, so whatever this stuff is, it doesn't need to be exposed. So maybe it's good <laughs> that they don't come out with no series because it was I I kind of like usually I feel like this when I watch The Walking Dead. And I'm like, when I get like very nervous on what's gonna happen next, I start shaking a little bit because I like I just it's like a lot going on. I for a split second that was happening to me at the end because I'm like, bro, there's way too much going on in this movie, and I'm you know they need to uh they need to just slow down for a bit, all right? But yeah, that movie it's uh that's definitely I had to say one of the best movies to come out this year. Definitely deserves its ratings. Um, yeah, I can't wait for that to come. Definitely, it's like when it comes out, like, on Blu-ray and all that stuff, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to get that digital code. That's gonna have to be something, like, I'm watching on it. Well, then, because it, it's like, dang, man, because I am gonna be taking a trip in January, and I've, I would have really wanted that movie to be out then. So, if, oh, if it's out digitally by then and things, then, yeah, I'm like, but it's gonna probably take some time and stuff. It probably ain't gonna be out by then, but... If it, if it is, if they do have it digitally, I might have to buy it. So, anyways, um, yeah, make sure you guys go see Overlord if you haven't, uh, because there's a like if you watched this video and was just like, well, I want to see what he has to say about it and things, even with all the spoiler alerts and stuff. Like, no, watch that movie for yourself, because it's like even what I said, I feel like that didn't even really talk. Like, there's so much that happens in that movie that I just I feel like that I might have not talked about. But definitely, you guys, like, go go watch that movie. It's it's a good one. It's really a good one, all right, people? So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and peace.